This is the TP-Link Casa Smart Wi-Fi plug. It works with the Google Assistant as well as Alexa. And you can control it from anywhere. So these are some easy setup steps. It comes with a 3 year warranty. And some features for flexible control. You are able to have remote access. You can do scheduling and you can also set the away mode. So we are going to unbox this and show you how to set it up and connect to your devices. So this is what we have in the box. It's got a setup card with steps on how to set up your Casa Smart Plug. Some safety information and of course the plug itself. Next, we will plug the smart plug into our power socket but we are not turned on just yet. And following the setup guide, step 1, we are supposed to download the CASA app. So let's go to our Android smartphone and we will start by going to the Play Store. Under Play Store, we will do a search for Casa Smart Plug. There it is. And we will install the Casa Smart app. So once the Casa Smart app is installed, you can open the app. The first step is to create an account. So let's do that. So let's create account. So we go to our email and tap on the link to activate our TP link complete the registration. Once that is done, select I'm already verified. Next step will be to set location. So we need to do that. Select allow. Let's get started. So now we need to turn on the smart plug. We'll power it on. On your Android phone, tap on the plus icon to add device. Select smart plug. So we have already powered up our smart plug. We can go to next. So we need to check on our Wi-Fi light over here to make sure that it is blinking orange and green, which it is indeed doing. But we will tap on help on our Android phone and it actually shows you some instruction on how to reset our smart plug which is the reset button over here we will press on it so we have shown you how to reset the smart plug and it is now blinking orange and green let's go to next Next step is to choose a network. We'll select technology keeps. We need to key in the Wi-Fi password. 
Once the Wi-Fi password is keyed in, you'll join the network. Take note on the smart plug. It is now blinking green. And it is now solid, indicating that it is connected. The smart plug is showing that it is connected, but the app is still trying to connect our plug to the home network. We will go back to home and reopen the Casa Smart app. We can name our device. We will call it Smart Plug. We can select a customized icon. We will save. So our smart plug is configured. So the first thing our app notifies is that there is a firmware update. We will do an update now. As the update is unsuccessful, we will update it later. But as you can see from the app itself, the smart plug is now connected. We will tap on the power button to power it off. And the smart plug is now turned off. And let's turn it on again. So we have successfully connected our smart plug to the app and we can now use it remotely. Let's tap on the smart plug. So we can do a schedule. We can add a schedule to turn on or turn off power on the smart plug. We can set a timing. Or we can also set a timer on the smart plug. Depending on how long you want or how many hours you want. Next, if you are away, you can also set an away time and you can repeat it on every other day of the week. And the last icon here is the runtime check on the smart plug. How many hours it has been on. So this is how you unbox the TP-Link Casa Smart Plug and get it connected to your Casa app on your Android phone.